Hi guys, Jan Morek from 3D Shakers here and in this video I would like to make a quick comparison between Octane and Psycho's engine regarding rendering speed. As a test environment I will utilize this scene and I will try to set rendering settings of both engines as similar as possible so this test could be meaningful. However, please consider that it never could be 100% accurate, but I will try to do my best. So at first we will go with Octane. Now let's look at the settings. Simplify is disabled, kernel type is Patrace, number of samples is 1000, diffuse glossy and scatter depth is set to 10. Adaptive sampling is enabled and it has default values and out of core is disabled. Make a quick look what's under the hood. We will use for rendering three graphic cards NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. I will render an animation of two frames and will compare the average times. So let's start. It was Octane and now it's time to look at cycles. So we have same camera, same collections enabled. Render settings are GPU compute. Again, we will use three graphic cards in NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Simplify is disabled. Method of computation is path tracing. Number of samples is 1000, same as with Octane. Minimum white bounces and minimum transparent bounces is zero. Light paths are set to 10. And size of tiles are optimized for graphic cards. We have the same resolution as with Octane and also we will render two frames. All right, we can start. So it looks like Octane is faster for this scene than Cycles. We can look at the final renders and compare the results. This is Octane and this is Cycles. Renders look different because Octane's render has already applied post-processing. But I think that the level of noise is very similar. Okay, so what's the conclusion? Is Octane faster than Cycles? For this scene, definitely yes. But it doesn't mean that with another project, Cycles won't beat Octane. However, based on my experiences, Octane is faster in general. I plan to make similar comparison also with exterior scene, so we will have a better understanding about the topic. 
If you liked the video, please click the like button, subscribe and let me know what would you like to learn next. If you don't know what to do with your money, consider to support us and buy some of our 3D models. Link to our shop is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.